Hey everyone, Jimmy D here. Just want to take a few minutes of your time and talk about the graciousness of God and the impact that it's had on my life personally. You can head over to northcentral.org messages and check out this past Sunday's message where Pastor Dan actually talked about how God is gracious. And that big idea for Sunday's message was by God's grace alone, we've been given a new and abundant life that transforms who we should be. For me, God's grace is one of the most beautiful and difficult things to receive and understand. Quickly, just in case, little recap here, not familiar with God's grace, it's given to us freely by no work of our own. It's, it's a gift. God gives us this gift of grace, but unlike so many gifts that I think we're used to, we don't deserve it, we haven't earned it, and it didn't come when we expected it, like under a Christmas tree or on our birthdays. You know, God's graciousness is what gives us his unmerited favor, not because of anything that we've done, but because of who we are and who we believe in through the work of Jesus. And most of us stumble here because this concept's really foreign to us, right? You know, we're, we're used to earning just about everything in this world, but we cannot earn God's grace. We don't, we don't deserve it either. The fact that I have received this grace by no work of my own should compel me to operate differently, but it really doesn't most of the time. Where I personally struggle, I think, is that even though I am a recipient of God's graciousness, I'm not that great at dishing it out or reciprocating that grace. I'm only good at receiving it. And then I think even when I am able to give grace, my grace is messier and looks much different than the grace that I received. You know, it's selective. It chooses some over others. Uh, it chooses to forgive some things over other things. It chooses to love some more than love others. And this is what I love, though, about God and the relationship that you know I am in with Him is that He takes my weakness, my failures, the fact that I am not great at reciprocating His grace, and He's working on that and He's using that to transform me and turn me into something way more beautiful than I ever was before. And and God takes my my skewed and flawed version of grace and uses it to help me see Him more clearly, but He also uses it to help me see my own flaws, myself more clearly. My struggle with grace is where I see God the most at work in me. The more I understand and accept God's grace, the more it fuels that heart transformation that God is at work doing in my life. As grace takes hold of my heart, it starts to feel more a part of, of God's kingdom, and my heart swells with this new abundant life in Jesus. And that new and abundant life starts to shine through in so many different ways, you know, that I never thought were going to be possible in me before. Um, it changes the whole direction of my life to serve others selflessly, to make sacrifices, to love differently. Not because I get something in return, but because I've been given something I didn't deserve. And, you know, that's, that's so life-changing. And, um, you know, this whole topic is such a life-changing topic that we really want to continue the conversation with you about how God's grace is available for all of us and how God wants his grace to go to work on each of our hearts. Every one of our hearts, he wants to change from the inside out. All we have to do is put our faith and trust, um, our hope in the gift giver, Jesus. And if you want to, head over to northcentral.org slash groups and join in on one of the conversations about discovering who God created us to be and how we enter into that when we receive his gracious gift of new life as part of his kingdom right here on earth. Right.